Over the next five minutes, you will get a first glance of Camunda Optimize, an extension for Camunda BPM. Together, we will take a look at the process and start to discover what Optimize can do. Once we log in using Camunda BPM credentials, you will see all the reports and dashboards that have been created already. Now, let's imagine in the next months we need to hire a team of 10 software developers to build a new product. To hire the best candidates as fast as possible, we will optimize our hiring process. So let's get um, started together. First, we want to find out how many software development candidates came into the pipeline and see how this changed over time. To do this, we will create a new report that we call Applications Last Months. Now, we will select the process Hiring Demo and we will select the View Process Instance Count. We will group this by start date and we will do that by months. After that, we can change between different visualizations. We will choose the line chart and now we will add the easy to use filter, the variable filter, and choose, for example, um, let's say the position. And this is a software developer. And we can add the filter and then go ahead and save the report. Now let's um, continue. We are interested now in the software developers who really got hired. So we will create um, a new report that is called Developers Hired. We select the hiring demo, select again the process instance count. We won't really group um, this this time, but instead we have to add different filters. So we go to add filters and choose the flow node candidate hire, the end event. And then also we will add again the variable filter. Um, for the position software developer. We will add the filter and now we can see we hired seven candidates. We save that. After having created the first KPIs, we are interested in how we can improve our process. To do so, we will have a deeper look into our process by first using the heat map functionality. Selecting the flow not count view, we can see how F how often the steps in our process have been executed and where we eventually lose candidates. By looking at the heat map, we immediately see that the quite many candidates cancel on their own. Eventually, this has to do with the time they have to wait for a reply from one of our hiring managers. So let's have a look into the durations next. Um, we'll create again a new report. And, but this time, um, we will look at the time spent. So select the hiring demo, we will select the view, flow node duration, we will group by flow node again, and this time we will also look at the heat map. Well, um, we can look at different durations, but this might be normal. So it might be better to choose specific target value for um, the screen application, because this should be most probably only one day, not two days and 20 hours. Saving this, we can see that we are a lot over the target. So this is a bad signal. We're going to save this report, and next we're going to have a look into the decision. So the decision um, of our process, which hiring manager is being assigned. So let's have a look into this. Choose the hiring manager assignment, view evaluation count, and we will have a look at the rules. Now we can see that about 50% of our um, of our evaluations are assigned, of our applications are assigned to Richard. Let's save this. And um, the last thing we want to do is we want to create a report now that um, really tracks how many times the hiring manager Richard gets assigned. So applications Richard last certain days. We choose the process definition hiring demo. We choose the view count, none, and then we will choose the variable filter for hiring manager Richard. Because the poor guy has to do a lot of work. And this is what we don't want to do over the last 30 days. So let's use past 30 days here as a filter. We save that, and then we can go ahead and based on this information, we can now create a new alert. So we will call um, this alert also Richard Applications. We will choose Richard Applications over the last 30 days. 
And if it has a value above 200, then you can inform um, my name at kamuna.com, as it's up. So we add this alert, as you can see, it has been added and it will be triggered once the value is above this 200. Um, to get a quick overview about all our KPIs that we just created, we create a dashboard. And on this dashboard, we can now add all our reports that we just built together. So choose one after another. We're going to add them and you can drag and drop them around. You can change the sizes. As you can see, this is very easy to build. We also maybe um, take here our time spent. So the duration is also important. We can see that we have the heat map functionality here now, even with our goals. This can move around nicely. We can um, also make it a little bit larger. And let's select um, the hiring manager, DNN decision table as well. We place this a little bit down so we have more, more space for that. I will make it a little bit bigger this time so we can easily see if the number for which it changes. And also we're going to have a look obviously for the most executed steps. Showing the heat map again, this is quite nice. And then we save this dash dashboard. I think this is a, um, is a very good overview about um, Kamunda Optimize. So by using these reports and dashboards and combining them with alerts, we're able to identify and approve our process and decision table. This will have more probably positive impact on our hiring goal. So we just scratched really the surface of Optimize and all its functionality. Feel free to contact us for more details or try out on your own by downloading an Optimize trial for free. Thank you for listening.